Hey guys, you're watching the basics of Python tutorials on my channel Python for Microscopers on YouTube. And again, these uh, tutorials are intended for beginners, beginning programmers who are students, researchers, or anyone who is actually interested in uh, especially image processing tasks using uh, Python. So in uh, today's uh, tutorial, let's actually look at uh, decision making uh, using if and else statements. And what do I mean by that? Uh, in general, if you want to execute only a certain, uh, uh, I mean, if you want to execute like, let's say uh, a piece of code, only if certain condition is met, yeah, then we use this if and else. And I think it's uh, better uh, if I go ahead and demonstrate this. So let's open our spider interface and uh, uh, let's uh, define a variable called num and uh, let's get this from the user and uh, so this would be we did this in our previous lecture input and uh, let's uh, please enter an integer okay so this is uh, where the input is coming from and since we are asking for an integer let's go ahead and define this as an int or type convert this as an int uh, as we saw in our previous lecture, by default, any input from the keyboard is a string, and we need to convert that into integer. Obviously, I'm gonna use this num as an integer uh, right now, as a number, not as a string. So, uh, the, what, what I'm trying to do with this code is basically a pretty simple, uh, it's going to print if the number, let's say, let's say the input is uh, four. I just want to print out that it is less than five. If it is greater than five, then it, it's gonna say, okay, uh, this number is greater than five or something. So the, this is where we use this, our if condition. So if our number, and also we saw the operators last time, the, uh, where we put two equal to, you know, to compare uh, whether this number is equal to some number or not. So for now, let's actually do, if our number is greater than or equal to, uh, uh, let's say five, or actually let's call this positive or negative, yeah? So if number is greater than or equal to zero, and we end this statement by putting a column, by the way, and uh, when I hit, hit tab, it automatically goes to, uh, you know, it, it includes these spaces here. Every time you have the if statement, uh, ends with this colon and then the you need like this tab uh, spaces right there so if it is greater than zero I would like to print uh, uh, this number is uh, 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 this is a positive number okay let's say this is a positive number uh, else so it actually went back right here so I'm gonna uh, do backspace and uh, say else same thing colon what do I want to print print this is a uh, by the way I forgot to put quotations there so let's close that print this is a negative number okay so this is this is pretty much it it's gonna ask us uh, you know uh, to enter a, uh, a number and let's go ahead and run this so please enter an integer. I'm gonna say five. This is a positive number. Let's uh, clean this up a little bit. So I'm gonna put a colon space so it looks nice. And also instead of this is a positive number, I would like to uh, uh, repeat you know, this number. So I can actually say num and is a positive number. Okay, then it says five is a positive number. Same thing here, num is a negative number. So when I run this, so please enter an integer, let's just say minus five, and minus five is a negative number. That's exactly why I put this num, right? Minus five is a positive number or a negative number. So this is how you use if and else. Obviously this is a, a very simple example here, but uh, uh, one other thing, uh, while I'm at it, Let's clean this up a little bit more. In fact, uh, uh, instead of typing num here, you could have actually, I may not have covered this in my previous uh, lecture. So uh, because we have a chance right now, let's go ahead and do this. 
So what if I want to include, what if I want to include this num inside this statement, right? I mean, right now I just did num comma, which is it's actually filling this space with whatever that, uh, that, that number is. Here, there are, there are some placeholders. I forgot what it is actually called. This is the mod operator, right? I mean, percentage sign. I, anytime you put this inside this string right here, uh, and let me go ahead and put percent %d, then this is a placeholder for a number that I'm going to define later on. And now I can define the number by saying, okay, what this means is num. So what this statement means is uh, the placeholder is a positive number. And what is this placeholder? This placeholder is defined right here. So when I put percentage here, these are all the placeholder uh, values. So in this example, I just want to put num. Let's go ahead and run this, and hopefully it makes sense when I run this. Okay, so let's just say five. And now you see five is a positive number. So it replaced this percentage D with num, which is five, okay? And uh, let me repeat that here. Uh, and by the way, this uh, D indicates that this is an integer. You can also do I. I believe both D and I pretty much the same thing. In fact, we can test that out here. Percent I is a negative number put percent and in the uh, in the tuple right here you define exactly what your other variables are so let's go ahead and try this uh, and see what happens so run and let's do minus five minus five is a negative number so you can put d or i uh, you can also do f which is uh, floating if i do f and then run this and let's put negative five you see it converted that into a floating it's minus 5.0000 is a negative number. You can also define like how many zeros to show. Right? Let's do 4.2, which I think is total four spaces and two decimal points. So when you run this code, again, let's do minus five and minus 5.00 is a negative uh, number. Uh, and uh, this is just if and else. If you have more conditions, you can actually put uh, uh, you can actually put LF, something called uh, LF. I'm trying to see if I, uh, let's, uh, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, so if num equals greater than or equal to zero, so instead of this, let's actually do if num is greater than zero, and then here we can just do LF, okay? Pretty much the same thing, LF num equals to zero. Remember, two equal signs. So it, so if number is greater than zero, print that it's a positive number. LF, number equals to zero. LF is like else if, number equals to zero, print, and let's just do percent D is zero. Okay, and uh, again, percent else print this so if i run this and if it is five five is a positive number let's run this again if it is zero it should say zero is zero okay so you can put any number of lf uh, commands in here okay so this is uh, this is exactly what i wanted to cover and uh, uh, let's let's do one more thing before uh, we finish this off this is just one if uh, command. We can actually put a nested if, meaning another if inside this if. So uh, I think, that, again, the best way to, the best way to uh, summarize this is instead of lf, let's actually put uh, if num equals to zero. Uh, let's actually do if number is greater than or equal to zero, which means it can be zero or any uh, positive number. Within here, uh, meaning if number is five, that means it's going to satisfy this condition, right? If number equals to zero, it also satisfies this condition. But let's separate the zero and five now. So now let's just say if within the loop num equals to zero, okay? Within the loop, if number equals to zero, then let's just print, uh, uh, let's just keep things simple, uh, just print zero. Else, because I'm still within this loop, else print this is a positive number and we can remove this lf now okay and lf so when we run this 
uh, unexpected indent here oh yeah you see here this needs to be indented inside the else so now if we run this enter an integer let's say zero it says zero is zero yeah because zero means it is right within this if uh, uh, cycle right here so zero and then the next line it checks is if it is zero then print zero if it is not zero which means inside this if now we are inside this else okay then if I do five five is a positive number and if we do minus five then it should say it's a negative number so again I uh, it's, it's uh, really important I want you to understand here we have an if condition right here if something is true if number is greater than zero go inside this and execute these lines if it's not if it is less than zero then just jump down here and execute this if it is greater than zero let's go through what's inside here if it's greater than zero then it's checking is it equal to zero then print zero if not print it's a positive number you can try this on other types of examples but uh, this basically summarizes the if else uh, expressions here and uh, this is this is pretty common in programming we would be using these quite a bit uh, you know uh, whether it is image processing or data analysis it doesn't matter any programming language you cannot live without using if else and also loops which we will talk about later on uh, so let's end this video right now and in the next uh, tutorial let's talk about the lists and tuples dictionaries arrays and so on so thank you very much